Well, we're out for our first camp in uh, 2018. Uh, doing a bunch of new mods. Uh, there's a few mods we did for this season. We're just trying them out. These are hit or misses. Some, some of the things we've learned are working. Some aren't. So I'm going to go over a few now. Uh, we've learned that well, I wasn't doing any leveling so much. This campsite we're at, you can see we're sitting at a slight incline. So that's a problem. We're going to have to get some levelers for that and uh, do that. Some of the upgrades I've done, I've got a different hitch lock. This one's a little bit better than the one we had. It's still not the most perfect thing to get, but it's still as good as you can get without spending about three or four hundred dollars for the real expensive one. And I tried this out for the first time with my washing dishes outside using two tubs, and that's worked out pretty good. I like the table height a lot better trying to do the used to sink inside the the uh, a liner it's really low and we have decided to keep water out of that <clears throat> some of the things we've added we did find this light right here it had to be a little bit modded but it's a solar light and it comes on whenever it gets dark at night I have another video where I show how we've added this door. We've added it in here. And another thing we've added, which is dog approved, is this little pad we've got. We really like that for a small dog. I think they even make them for large dogs. A couple of mods that we've done inside is uh, I've made this table. I had a thing that was called a Jotto desk, and uh, it was made for a, you could have a computer inside your uh, car. Nowadays, with smartphones, you're not really don't really need that anymore. So, I made this this thing has the arm, and what's nice about this thing is it'll swivel. It has a swivel underneath, and the swivel. It'll swivel all the way out here, so you can have a table for the for the bunk on this side, and uh, you can actually swivel it all the way around to this bed here. That way, we did remove our table and just have two beds in here. So that's going to work out nice to have a table for your laptop or if you're eating in here. Uh, a few other things is first time we've tried out our shelving. We've used this little this is little cheap plastic piping uh, shelving. And uh, we just have the two little units and we stack them together. And we really don't have anything on there right now. But what's nice is it just gives you a place to put stuff up out the counter there. That's worked out pretty good. A few other things that we've done is uh, we did add a tension rod up here for like longer trips where we could hang some things up here. You can have a, a little privacy curtain if we wanted to. This is the way I've got my kitchen set up right now. I'm trying to try it out this way. But, uh, all the modern conveniences out here. One thing I did notice on this trip is that we had one of these screws right here come out. I think it was actually through a, a split part of the frame. So I had some zip ties and I fixed them up. I'm going to, in future trips, something good to note is you need to have one of these square shanked screwdrivers with you when you when you're traveling. And I probably need to come up with some kind of tool kit that we can you can take along with you. And uh this is something to remember these aren't put on really well you might want to check both sides before you head out because those screws if they're not catching wood which down here I think it's split out a little bit so just something to note before you head out and down the road because we didn't notice that flapping in the wind and if we hadn't noticed it it might have just ripped clean off